tubing? Sorry, sorry, it's in there? Yeah. People may not immediately put acupuncture with veterinary medicine. However, acupuncture from a veterinary standpoint has probably been almost practiced as long as that for humans. But this horse just came out of a field where it's been raining and there's mud out there and manure up to its ankles. And it's going to go back out there after we treat it. So we're probably not going to use it. Sometimes the addition of acupuncture helps me to do a better job, and sometimes it's the only thing that gets us over the hump to get that animal better. As far as things that we treat most often are the things that respond the most. So musculoskeletal problems, we're talking about pain, nerve damage, and that's because that's a lot of the things that acupuncture is good for. We're, doing, we're looking better on the straightaway. Acupuncture stimulates the body to heal itself. Pretty much it in a nutshell. Those veterinarians that are skeptical, they're doing it in a sincere way. They want to do what's best for their patients and they don't want to recommend anything willy-nilly. Um, she drinking any excess water? Yeah. More than normal? Yeah. Okay. As far as the placebo effect in animals, that's not possible. What is possible is a placebo effect on the owners because the owners feel that just because they're paying for it and having something done, it must surely be having a positive effect. So one of the responsibilities as veterinary and acupuncturists is to filter that part out and actually look at our patients, see what's better, and then ask good questions. Some, it makes you more comfortable. We do know that when needles are placed, those needles are stimulating a neurovascular bundle. And you're getting the release of endorphins and kephalins, histamine release, and a lot of things that we know from a physiologic standpoint are involved with decreasing pain, decreasing inflammation. At the end of the day, whether you can explain it from a Western medicine standpoint or Eastern medicine standpoint, if you're getting results, then that tells you the evidence that you need to know. You think of brain tumor and you immediately think death. And I was like, well, what do we do? I mean, how do we treat this? And he goes, well, there's only really one method of treatment because Sophie is so young and that's chemotherapy.